hello guys in continuation with the topic uh, let's continue further four sets okay uh, let's start with question number nine it says set a is given to uh, us set b is given c and d is given we have to find uh, we have learned before that uh, while doing a minus b it means out of a you have to remove the part which is the part of B, right? So uh, you can see here A is there, right? So we identify those parts of A which are also in B, right? In fact, we find the common part, correct? So we look for 4, no, 8, no, 12 is common there in both A and B, 16, no, 20, no. So, A minus B would be 3, 6, 9, 15, 18, and 21, which is left in A. Got it? Again, repeating the process, A minus B means you find out the common part between A and B and remove that part from A. So, my answer for first part will be A minus B is 3, 6, 9, 18 and in the form of set, right? Let's try number uh, fourth, B minus A, right? So B minus A means whatever is common between A and B, you remove that from B, cut that from B. So 12 is common between A and B, so we cut that from B. So B minus A is 4, 8, 16, and 20, right? Okay, let's say I'm doing some. D minus A means whatever is there common between D and A. So, let's see what is there common between D and A. I'm using different color. Um, 5 is not common, 10 is not common, 15 is common, right? 15 is common. That's the only thing which is common. So this part we will remove. D minus A means from D you remove the common part between D and A. So in D I am left with 5, 10 and 20. Okay, let's do number 12th, D minus C, or, or let's do number 11th. Uh, I'm doing number 11th. Okay, C minus D. So whatever is common between C and D. So between C and D, let's check. Uh, it's easier to check D. 5 is not common. 10 is common. So I'm removing that from C. Because we have to find C minus D. So remove from C. 15 is not common. 20 is not common. So the only common part was 10 and which we removed. So my answer for 11th would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 14. Uh, very easy concept. Fine. Let's move on. Let's come to a new concept, complement of set. Now complement means, let's say for any universal set, I'm writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If set A and 5, so complement means what? Complement means? What is not in A, right? All what is not in A is A complement. So we write it as A, C, right? So what is not in A is 1 and 4. So A complement is 1 and 4, right? A complement is also written as A dash sometimes, okay? 
good one so complement means what is not there in that set except that right okay let's do number 12 um, let's do example 22 Union is given one, two, three, four, five, six, and A is two and three, and B is three, four, and five. We have to find A complement. A complement means everything you write except two and three, right? What is not in A? So not in A is what? Let me write that. Not in A from universal set. So one, four, five. Six. It is universe complete thing, right? Okay. B complement means what is not in B. Except B, everything. So one is not in B. Two is not in B, and six is not in B, right? Okay. Let's do A complement intersection B complement. now we remember what is the meaning of intersection intersection means common right so we have a complement we have b complement what is common between them you can see one is common and six is common right so a complement intersection b complement will be 1 and 6 1,6 right a union b a union b means everything will be included yes let's not repeat the terms but every term will be included nothing will be missed so i am just writing 4 5 6 and also 2 sorry sorry i wrote sorry a union b means the common from a or in b so we write all the elements from a or in b so we are writing 2 3 4 and 5 right it is here 2 3 and set b is 3 4 5 so we have just write we have just to write whatever is there in a or in b right then they say show us show that a union b complement is equal to this much okay we have already found a union b 2 3 4 5 so what is the complement of this if you can tell me means what is not there in a union b so is 1 and 6 correct a union b whole complement is 1 and 6 and a complement intersection b complement was also 1 and 6 right so we can say that they are equal right we can say a complement b complement is equal to a union b whole complement actually this is de morgan's law right let me write that de morgan's law i think this law is very easy you bring the complement on both a as well as on b and you change the union section right again repeating you bring the complements to both the elements and change the union to in so union has been changed as intersection similarly we can say that pattern de morgan's law also says a un a dash union b dash is actually equal to a intersection b whole dash see complement as well as on b right so a complement as well as b complement and intersection has changed to union so these two are very important results we will be using further great let's move on
there are certain properties we'll just uh, revise it very fast here some of the properties are of complement sets means uh, elements from set a or not from set a they together will make the universal set right okay and elements second point is element from set a and element from not in set a what is common between them actually there is nothing common right that is why it is a null set right we have already discussed de morgan's law and law of double complementation is a complement whole complement will again be a we can understand this from here let's say we have a universal set 1 2 3 and right and set a is 1 2 so what is a complement means what is not in a is actually 3 and 4 right and if i want to find the complement of the complement what is not in this is actually 1 and so basically a and a complement complement will be same you can see here right it's very logical as well okay let's move on let's do some exercise questions let's do number three number three question number one uh it says x where x is an even natural number right so we will write down all the even natural numbers so 2 4 6 8 and like okay and uh, we have to reply it taking the set of natural numbers as universal set write down the complements of the following set right so universal set is set of natural numbers correct we have to write on the complement of this set number one right so complement of this means what is not in this set from universal set let me write universal set they have defined universal set as set of natural numbers which is one two three four five six seven eight and keeps on going and going and going right so the complement of first would be my answer would be one three five seven actually all the odd numbers right the complement of first would be all the odd numbers right okay let's try question number five they say x is a natural number divisible by 3 and 5. So let's write all those natural numbers which are divisible by 3 and 5 both. So first number which is divisible by 3 and 5. 3 and 5 both. The first number is 15, right? And the second number would obviously be the multiple of 15, which is 30. Third number is 45 and like that we keep on going. So we have to find the complement of this set. Universal set is all natural numbers. So what should be my answer? Complement would be all the numbers which is not in this set. All the numbers except 15, 30, 45 and all. Right. So I will just write 1, 2, 3 and all the numbers. 15. I will write 16 and all. And all the numbers up to 29 and like that. So that would be a part of my set so if th this is a roster form if you remember right i will just write that um, x where x belongs to x belongs to x does not belong to 15 n right x is not equal to 15 and n belongs to and n belongs to natural number, right? So what have I done actually? 
I have said n is a natural number and 15 times n means 15 times 1 or 15 times 2 or 15 times 3 x would not be equal to that right and I must say that x belongs to x belongs to natural number also right otherwise otherwise I will have to take negative numbers and all decimal values also which is not a part right okay fine so hope that makes sense you can see there they have said x and y are two sets such that union is has 50 elements and x has 28 elements and y has 32 elements how many elements does x and you know all such questions i suggest would be very helpful from venn diagrams very helpful from venn diagrams so always try to use venn diagrams right so I am just making a Venn diagram. It is a universal set U. In that set there is X, there is Y, set X and set Y. Okay. Any, any question on Venn diagram, we always try to start with the intersection. So the common part is the middle one right now if they have not given common part then we'll suppose it as x because we have to find the intersection between x and y and no information is there so we'll suppose it as x okay let x be the intersection right one part between them so if that is the case then x has 28 elements right so this complete x has 28 elements and this is x so the remaining this part would be what 28 minus x right okay and y has y has 32 elements and this part is x so this remaining part of y is 32 minus sorry 32 minus 32 minus x right okay one more information that union has 50 elements union means union x union y means all whatever is in x or in y that total makes 50 so i will write that 28 minus x plus x plus 32 minus x should be equal to 50 right so minus 28 plus 32 is 60 minus x equal to 50 so x equal to 50. so intersection is 10 all the questions we'll try to solve from Venn diagram let's have a look at example 25 right so example 25 says in a class of 35 students 24 like to play cricket, 16 like to play football. Also, each student likes to play at least one of the two games. So, how many students like to play football and cricket both, right? So, let's make a Venn diagram. One is, one is for cricket universal set and uh, in a class of 35 students we like to play both cricket and football so it is not given to us suppose there are x number of students right who like to play both football. okay and uh, information is that 16 students like to play football so this part is less x right and 25 like to play cricket so 24 like to play cricket so 24 minus x is this part there is one important information also each student likes to play at least one of the games 
Now, this information is very important. It means that there is no guy who is outside, like who doesn't like to play football or cricket. Every student either likes football or cricket. So, outside is zero. That is very important. And it is a class of 35 students. So, it means that number of all the students from all the sets should make 35. Do that. 16 minus x plus x plus 24 plus 0 is equal to 35. We'll solve for x. 16, 24 and 0 is 40 minus x equal to 35. So x equal to 5. So it means there are 5 students who play both football and cricket. Correct? Fine. Let's move on next. Let's have a look at example 29. They are saying list all the elements of the set minus 1, 0 and 1. Right? List all the subsets of the set. So we will try to make the subsets. We will first use the individual sets minus 1, minus 1 and 0, 2 elements minus 1 and 1 and 0 and 1 so we have taken two two elements together okay. now we'll take three elements together minus 1 0 and 1 right there is only one one way of taking three elements now we have to take one more set which has no elements right so all these are the subsets of this set Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8. So there will be. And if we had said that, yes, if there are three elements, if there are n number of elements, the number of subsets would be 2 to the power n. Just any of the subsets, right? Great. Let's have a look at example 32. It says a market research group conducts a survey of 1000 and reported that 720 customers like A, 450 customers like product B. What is the least number that must have liked products, both the products, right? So let's make Venn diagram. Okay, so there are two products, product A and product B. They are asking what is the least number that must have liked the product. So suppose the least number. So in this we have 720 people like the product. So the remaining is 720 minus X. And here we have remaining 450 minus X, right? And uh, there are total 1000 customers, right? So these 1000 customers, some could be out as well, right? We have no idea how many are out. So let's suppose this is Y, correct? So some of all these should make 1000. So let me write that. Let me write it here. 450 minus X plus X plus y all should make 1000 right so minus x and plus x finish 
450 plus 720 gives you 1170 minus x plus y equal to 1000 right so 1170 minus 1000 would be equal to x minus it means 170 is equal to x minus y okay please understand now they are saying what is the least number that must have liked both the products right so what is the least number of people who would have liked both the products so for this to be 170 right so the least number possible should be 170 right correct or no there is no number possible which is smaller than 170 if you take let's say one if x is 169 y needs to be negative right so the smallest possible value for x in this case is 170 i can explain it from the uh, straight line graph if you understand it well my x intercept is 170 and y intercept is minus 100 drawing the graph i'm explaining you from graph so 170 and this value is minus 170 now the minimum possible value 170 it could not be this one right why because if we come here less than 20 y value will become negative right and that y value is the number of people it cannot be negative so the minimum possible value is 170 right thank you so that is my final answer great let's try next let me explain you this example example 34 a college award uh, a, col a college awarded 38 medals in football basketball and cricket if these medals went to the total of 58 men and only three men got medals medals in all three sports how many received medals in exactly two of the sports again venn diagram will be helpful so let me make that venn diagram for you great one is for football this is for basketball and this is for cricket now they have said um, 38 are from football 15 is basketball and a total of 58 men and only three men got medals in all three all three sports only three okay how many received medals in exactly two of these sports so this section is three because these are those three men who who got medals in all three sports so all three is this region correct where both football uh, football basketball and cricket comes in right and they are asking how many received medals in exactly two of these sports exactly two of these sports is this part i don't know this is x let's suppose this is y this is z now look at the information on football football is total 38 so this part is all the remaining right so 38 minus x minus y minus 3 is this section for basketball which is x minus 3 minus z and this section is for cricket which is 20 minus Z. right okay and uh, there is uh, nobody out if these medals went to total 58 men so this total is 58 all what we included they did not talk about outside part right they did not speak about that so we, we don't need that information even so some of all these values should be equal to 58 so let's use that I am writing it uh, 
all in a sequence please understand 38 minus x minus 3 let me rewrite it nicely 38 minus x and this makes 17 minus y minus z and this is 12 minus x minus z so I am I'm counting this 35 minus x plus 12 minus x minus z 17 minus y minus z and then I will count all these inside right plus x plus y plus z plus 3 and that total makes 58 right so minus x and plus x finish minus y minus z and plus z finish so we are left with 35 12 17 and 3 17 and 3 makes 20 and this is 35 plus 12 67 67 minus x minus y minus z equal to 58 right so 67 minus 58 equal to x plus y plus z okay the question was how many received medals in exactly two of three sports so these are those people who got medals in exactly two right football and basketball or football and cricket or basketball and cricket so nine is my final answer We'll do one question. Number 16. Okay. It says in a survey, it was we are doing number 16. In a survey, it was found that 21 people like product A. So I am just making a Venn diagram for product A, B, and C, right? Okay. Um, we have to find we are just directly looking at what we have to find find how many like product part on this part who liked all a b and c yes they have said eight liked all three products so eight right okay then we go to how many people liked both b and c 14 people liked both b and c so B and C together is 14. So this and this together is 14. Hence this part is 6, right? C and A. So C and A together is 12. This section and this section is 12. So this part is 4. And for B, A and B together is 14. Okay. Please bear with that. So that part is 6. Okay and uh, then we go back to product a product a is total 21 21 so we'll do 21 minus this minus this minus this we'll get this number right so 21 minus 18 will be this section is 3 right and uh, product b is 26 26 minus these numbers would give you this right so x minus 20 is 6 so this is 6 29 like product C so 29 minus 18 is 11 right and is there anybody who who did not like any of the products let me check that 
there is no information okay anyway means we didn't need that they are asking find how many uh, liked product C only so my answer is 11 because they asked how many liked product C only so this was how Venn diagram can be used to solve the questions and uh, avoid formulas right okay. thank you